Hello everybody, welcome to another Movie Commentary Monday. It's Sunday, so coming a little bit early, but the doctor said that's normal for people my age. <sighs> this week we got Sierra Burgess is a Loser. It stars Barb from Stranger Things and Noah Kavinsky. No, oh my god, I'm getting them too fixed up. It's Noah Satino and Peter Kavinsky, which, by the way, bought the book, read the book. I, I thought about making a review. Like a show comparison like I did with 13 Reasons Why when I read that book and did the comparison between them. But the book's actually kind of different. Peter Kavinsky comes off a little bit, uh, no, not a little bit, a lot different in the book. His text was meant for someone prettier, more popular, but he fell for her words. Now she'll do almost anything to keep him on the line. Is this a movie about catfishing? Let's give us a try, man. It's kind of giving me a Stranger Things vibe already. Oh, did this take place in the 80s? No, because there's cell phones and stuff, I think. There wasn't that picture of Noah Peter Kavinsky. Noah Satin Satinio. This is love making music. I can't get over this song. It's so good. Oh man. You are a magnificent beast. Oh, I hate electric toothbrushes, man. Hate them. They don't do as good of a job. Is she in love with a turtle? Is that what this movie's about? Now that I think about it, Noah does look a little bit like a turtle. My vein hey, that's the eat bears. That guy's from okay. So he doesn't have to be such a. I thought that was. I thought that was. That's. That's what I call Chris. Everybody hates Chris. That's what I call- I mixed up now that's what I call music and everybody hates Chris. For I- oh god. Oh my god! Hey. I gotta catch that. Fall out of a- Uh oh. What's she doing? What is this? Tutor? Some place to channel all this teen angst. Most oh of you just- Oh my god. Has a woman ever been more southern than this woman here? Sweat feelings. I'm. You see how I said here? More southern than this woman here? I'm being influenced by her. Ah, they're again. Stop. Your poetry is gonna outshine all the other poems in the class. Ew. Why is she taking pictures in the bathroom? Like I get it if it's like a nice, well lit bathroom, but look at the lighting. It's terrible. The bathroom's kind of gross. It's very public schooly. Go Tigers, go on the wall. This bathroom's so pathetic, they don't even put good posters on here. Someone just wrote, go tigers, go, colored it orange, and then left. Move it before you break the mirror. Before you break the mirror? Man, you a bitch. Hey, hey. I guess you want my number? 0147. Whose number was that? Sierra Burgess's. Why did you do that? He's like, flash your boobs in Cancun. Only losers hang out with losers. <laughs> Wait, so you think he's attractive, but you won't like him because he's hanging out with people who are less attractive? Man, you got some twisted mean girl logic. Who is that? It's a test. I met a guy. No, you didn't. You didn't meet a guy. A guy texted you who had the wrong number. Okay, not not met met. Yeah, we texted. Thank you. You may or may not think that I'm somebody else. Go. Oh wow, wow, Go! wow, wow. They are really gonna rush right through that. I thought they were gonna show like the text, the first conversation, but instead they're just like, yeah, we connected. That oh oh, I don't know if I like that. That's telling, not showing. <laughs> I'm feeling this beat again. Oh, I'm fucking not paying attention to the movie. I'm just, fa I'm falling into the soundtrack. What are they texting each other? Pictures of giraffes and fish and shit. It's all on the lips. Oh, wait, 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 wait. They're just having a kissing conversation. Okay. Is that a fucking taco? I'm oh, taking a shirt of this picture. Oh, snap, girl. Calm down. <laughs> He's flexing so hard. You look nice. Nice? Was she gonna say, I, you look nice? Oh, that's the most fuckboy thing. No, no, no. Don't, don't, don't send that. Okay, he didn't send that. Okay, thank God. Please disregard. I, 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 I. She sent back a picture of an elephant? If I was him, I'd be like, 
Are you saying that I look like an elephant? Fuck you. Oh, God. I feel uncomfortable already. This dude is pretty far into it. He's being catfished hard. Okay. Bro, I need this guy. I need this best friend to, like, talk some sense into her. Cause this is gonna go too far, and I'm I'm already starting to feel uncomfortable. Like this dude doesn't even know what he's getting into. She's intentionally misleading him. I don't want them to get together. Dan, Dan. What? What? Okay, okay, Dude. okay, okay. Sierra, Sierra. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize. She's the one doing weird shit. Cosmic sign. Wait, 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 wait. That's... Now that I think about it, that chick ripped off her poster, Sierra's poster for uh, tutoring. I figured she would just like throw it away, but she put it in her purse. Was she, was she gonna call Sierra to tutor her? I could see that coming back around. That'd actually be a nice plot fold. Cause why else would you keep her number? If it's just so that she can look at it to give Noah, Jamie the, the number, then I feel a little bit like, ah, that's just like, you're just manipulating the plot to move it forward. But if she had planned on calling Barb from Stranger Things to tutor her, that'd be a nice plot twist. Excuse me, may I go to the bathroom, please? Oh, she gonna beat her to death with the bathroom pass? <laughs> What's that movie where they have to pretend a dead guy is alive so they can use his house? She's gonna beat the hot girl to death and then prop her dead body up. <laughs> And then use fish wire to like make her lips move so that he, she can have a conversation with the dude. That's my guess where the plot goes. Beat the fuck out of her. Because I can help you seem smarter to get back that guy. How? The tutoring thing. I knew it. I knew it. She wanted Sierra to be the tutor the entire- Oh, is that snot on her hand? Are you kidding me? Ew. Ew. Get a Kleenex, you nasty. Did they cut you from the squad? No, I had to skip. That's gonna get you far with the boys. Unless you're you're playing for the other team now. Um, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, <laughs> you know what? Brody, stop screaming! I'm gonna, I'm gonna get messed up for the casual. This is the point where we feel bad for the bully. The bully has a tough home life, so obviously we can give her a pass for the bullying. I feel like we're gonna end up cheering for her. In the end, we're gonna. She's gonna become like a protagonist. Are the tassels in knots? The tassels in knots. <laughs> Who gives a shit? Man, these pageant moms are crazy. Wondering if you had any suggestions on how to bolster my resume. What languages do you speak? French, Italian, and a little Mandarin. Mandarin? You know how many people speak Mandarin? About a billion Chinese. You're not getting it. Oh, you speak three languages? Uh, a billion people will speak the language that you speak. That's the fucking point of learning the language. Is so you can communicate with lots of other people. He speaks four languages, including English. And you're like, pfft, pathetic. A lot of other people speak those languages too, so that ain't even impressive. Would it be impressive to learn a language that no one else knows? What would be the use of the language? God, this woman. Talk, talk, over the phone. Oh, oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. what you gonna do? What you gonna do? What's what? Uh, bonsoir. Good day, fair maiden. Light through yonder window. We're still uh, uh, no. I'm getting secondhand cringe for both of them. Both of them are doing cringy shit. Are, are you calling my voice back right now? No. No, 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 no. All right, this is more, I'm more comfortable with this banter. No, no, no. This is I better. Never, I would never. It's like would... every first conversation where you both like each other, it's just, it's just like awkward. It's just, it's just, eh, you know? You think it would be like, ah, eh, but it's ah, eh, you know? And then you gotta find it. I hope my demonstration with my hands made it clearer. You got any dark secrets that I should know? Yeah, I'm not who you think I am. I like football. But between you and me, I don't even like most of the guys on my team. Every game is like a story. They're villains and they're heroes. Every pass is a triumph. Every tackle is a tragedy. It's like poetry. <laughs> I'm a huge football fan. In fact, this video is going up on Football Sunday, the first week of the NFL season, where I will watch 11 hours of football today and every Sunday for the next like 22 weeks. I've watched so many people talk about football. Never, never in my life have I ever heard someone talk about heroes and villains and tacklings and tragedy and never. Football is like poetry. The only person that says football is like poetry is a writer who doesn't watch football. I'm the quarterback, so I gotta 
Oh, he's the quarterback, too. Love you. Have a nice day, Daniel. Say you love me. Not today. Say it. Yeah, I like that dude as an actor, man. Noah Centineo, or whatever his name is. I like him. But that is an 80... What's going on here? I feel like the music selection and this guy's haircut are from the 80s. And some of the clothes, too. It feels like a weird time-bending thing. Like, there's cell phones and texting, but it takes place in the 80s. I don't know. Something's off. Something's weird here. Oh, I hate hurdles. I hate them. You're my biggest competition. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. This dude's, like, kind of ripped. Nah, I wouldn't say ripped, but he's, like, really he looks fit. And you're gonna tell me that he doesn't have any athletic ability? Look at him! He looks actually like he works out a little bit. You're gonna tell me he can't hurdle? Oh, don't throw up. She's throwing up. Oh. Are you kidding me? Oh. Oh. Dude, no. He's too fit to throw uh, you know up after what? I don't that. care if I get- Oh, they're FaceTiming. What? Wait, what? Answer, answer. Come on, hurry up. What? What are they gonna do? Her voice is different. Ah! Coming! What are they doing? What are they doing? Sorry about that. She's way off. The audio is not synced to the video like at all. Uh, uh yeah, sorry. Uh, my... This is like this is like the ultimate catfish. I'm hurting. This is hurting. This is so fucked up. You can't mislead somebody That's like worst. this. Uh and hey, Veronica. You look pretty. You are even more beautiful than I remember. Boom. Oh, you know how I think this movie is going to end? I think Veronica is going to end up with him. You can't mislead someone. You can't mislead someone this long and this hard and then end up with them and then have them like you. Stop. No. Don't laugh. Fuck you. Bro. I can't believe it actually works. My heart's pounding. Oh, what? They're friends now? They do some illegal activities together and now they're fun? Yeah, okay, fuck you both. Should have murdered her in the hallway. This movie would have been so much better for me. Whoa! Keep singing! No. What? No. Would you want to go on a date with me? Like, no. Um, I have a family thing tomorrow. No, but no. I have something that I need to clear up, but... I'll like your whole appearance? Don't die before then, okay? <laughs> Is she gonna yeah, murder try. him? Is that how this ends? Like, he, she gets caught and she can't deal with the shame. So she just murders him. And then she murders Veronica in the hallway with the bathroom pass. She has a troll on her desk. Deep shit. That in the corner, she has a troll on her Which is kind of perfect, considering this movie. She's just trolling this dude the whole time. Please. One date. Why are they I'm so close? You. Thought they were going to make out for a second. So you want to put two really really hot people together you think that that's gonna work out for you yeah i'm i'm saying man veronica's gonna fall for him because we're starting to root for veronica now because she has a hard home life and now she's coming around with sierra so they're starting to be friends i feel like they're gonna hit it off noah and veronica the whole beginning of the movie she was like all guys they're like that all guys just want nudes and they just they're shallow that's literally how she acted it out too you should have seen it that's how i think this movie's gonna end yeah. they're gonna end up oh, together veronica and jamie and then she's gonna end up going to the college. That's her thing. She's gonna write a great poem, and then she's gonna get accepted to a great college. Is that him? Oh my God. Why are we leaving? He don't even know what you look like. That's true. He knows what I sound like, okay? Jim! Oh, Jim. no. You got room for two more? Oh, no, uh, no, no, what are you, no. Oh, this is gonna go so poorly. Yeah. Damn, by the way. Uh, <laughs> Jamie, let me, me shoot. Um. Oh, wow. Yeah. You see that well, tap up? They are services. cool already. Both of them. Looks really good. On Watch this. Boom. Handshake. Uh, Jane. To bro shake. Jane. Boom. Jane. Boom. That was a three move thing. One is for beginners. Two is for novices. Three is for cool guys. So they did three moves. Boom. Shake. Switch. Boom. It was great. Don't say. Don't. Oh no, she's mute. Like your brother. Oh. He's deaf. Two. <laughs> what are the odds of that? <laughs> I love this friend. He's awesome. Mm, no, 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 no. Awkward. Ah, uh, <laughs> Oh, wait, wait, she came along on the date? 
Is she gonna try to speak for? Wait, what? Right. What is happening? Hey, sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to scare you. No, just a popcorn. Oh, she's gonna just speak softly. <laughs> <Is that? laughs> I'm just gonna go to the bathroom. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, awkward. Uh, it's the first time they're ever meeting each other, and she's just like, hey, I'll, just, I'll just popcorn. I'm gonna go to the bathroom now. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna think you're on drugs. Like, give him a hug or something, you know? I can't do it. <laughs> popcorn? This is so odd. She just creeps in behind them. Oh! You know she's gonna stick out because she's got her hood up and she's like bending over. Like if she acted normal, no one would notice. But instead, she's like creeping around. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, well, that's not suspicious either. You look around and the person behind you is like, come on! Have you ever counted shoulders before? One, two, three. Never seen that before. I'm working that into my repertoire. Have <laughs> you ever counted shoulders before? One, two, three, four. Bro, bro, smooth as shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. I learned a new technique today. I don't care if this movie ends like in the worst way possible. I'm happy I watched it because I learned a new move. <laughs> Count shoulders. One, two, three, four. <laughs> God, God, oh, this is so creepy. Catfishing is one level, but now she's straight stalking. Imagine if she gets caught. I can't handle that. That's gonna make me so uncomfortable. You look so cold <laughs> There's right now. no other cars around. Whoa, bro, this is not gonna, gonna end well. How did he not see her or hear her? Did you hear how loud her jacket was scraping against the ground? Listen to this again. He doesn't hear or see that. No one else around. There's no other sounds. Do you know what you want to be when you grow up? A catfish. <laughs> Professional. Oh, he's going for the kiss. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my, did you close your eyes? Big no, do oh my God, no, no, no. If she gets out from under the truck and kisses him and then runs away or gets back under the truck, I, I don't know that I can handle this. My eyes are gonna oh, stay no, closed no, no, until no. you give oh, me other orders. No. This is, this is rape. Oh no, no, oh my God, oh my God. Like if this is for a movie, so I can handle it, you know? But if this happened in real life, if someone was actually being manipulated like this guy was, this this is just a big no for me. But it's a movie, right? It's a movie, it's whatever, it's just a plot of a movie. But still, it's messed up. It's messed up. Imagine if he opened his eyes. No, don't play the dramatic music. No. Stop. Keep him closed. I said keep him closed. Well, yeah, but I thought I thought I like saw. What so you saw? <laughs> there's no way that actually works in in real life. Like if this wasn't a movie, there's no way they're pulling that off. Like he manages to close his eyes and then you kiss. And then as soon as you're, you're done kissing and you pull away, the first thing you do is open your eyes. Even if they were open for like a fraction of a second, he would see her. It was incredible. No! Soundtrack again. Dude's lifting weights in his bedroom. And you're telling me he can't do a couple hurdles without throwing up? He's actually kind of cool. Only losers hang out with losers. I don't know how I feel about this. She ditched her best friend. Or she didn't ditch him, but she lied to her best friend because who wanted to hang out. Multiple times now. Multiple times she's lied to him to hang out with Veronica or to uh, to go to a party. She's lying to her pseudo boyfriend who doesn't even know what she looks like. Uh, she's not a great person. Do you want to get out of here? Just for a second. Come on. Just for a second? That's how long you last? Mm, you don't want to leave with him, girl. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So that picture is gonna get posted. Jamie's gonna see it, and then it's gonna be a blow up thing, and it's gonna be revealed. Sierra is the one that she's been that he's been talking to. Okay, well. Hey, hey, what, what's wrong? <laughs> this dude's gotta be so confused. He doesn't know any of the scheme. Spence, he dumped me again over DF. God, what? The shit. <laughs> I love this guy. This would never happen if I was dating someone like Jamie. He's hot and weird, smart. Do you like him? No. Yes. 
Oh, wow, wow. They cut off there. Interesting. That kind of reminds me of the beginning of the movie where the scenes are very truncated. Where, like, they didn't show the first conversation between Sierra and Jamie. And now, there again, the scene is very short. I mean... <laughs> Yeah. No, I, Why do they look like know. convicts? <laughs> Does he play for a prison football team? Veronica! <laughs> this is gonna be bad. <laughs> what? what was that for? What did I do? I hate that. That's, that's one thing I hate more than anything. Is when characters see just a part of the scene, but then they get misinterpreted, but then the character actually like redeems themselves. Sierra, she sees just the, the kiss part. She doesn't see the Veronica pushing him away. That's some bullshit. Is she gonna hit somebody with her car? No, okay. Her password is Spence. There's no way like this fake Instagram allows you to have S P E N C six letters. I wanted to count it out just in case. <laughs> six letters, no numbers. Come on. And she just guesses it. First guess. There's no way Veronica would actually have her password be Spence because that means that she places too much of her value and self-esteem on a guy, and she doesn't. She likes herself too much. There's no. I don't. Don't buy it. Don't buy it. I'm so excited. I love football sequences. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can you do me a favor and yell Jamie? Watch this dude, watch this dude, watch this dude. Dude's like already leaning in. Come on, actor, she hasn't spoken to you yet. Don't be leaning in, listening for her words when you don't even know that she's gonna speak to you. Hey, can you do me a favor and yell Jamie? Man, the look too, the look too. One more time. He's looking, he looks at her. She hasn't spoken yet. Don't look at her. Jamie! Sarah! No, 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 there's a play clock, 40 seconds, meaning you got to get the play called, get to the line of scrimmage, read the defense, you're not, there's no time to wave to the crowd, to not only spot someone in the crowd, but then to wave to them, shout out to them, no, you're going to get a delay of game, no, no, come on, what, what did Sierra post, oh god, Sierra, you've been misleading this guy the entire time, you're the villain, and you're going to get mad because, the girl who you forced to come along with your scheme kiss the guy that she's supposed to be supposedly dating. Now she's gotten revenge on Veronica in some way by posting something to her Instagram. Oh, they're gonna put it on the big screen? Don't tell me. Oh, that's not even that embarrassing. I got dumped over D- Oh, come on, really? That's the best revenge you had? If you're gonna do this plot, at least make it something better. Like, oh my god, she got dust. Who gives a shit? Wow, the guy's an asshole. So what? It's not that dramatic. It really is not. I think some kids are smoking the pop in the bathrooms again. Yeah, he's gonna put it on the base. Okay, I'm not buying this movie at all anymore. This, yeah, this movie's really tanking right now. It's not embarrassing. Dumped over DM. Who? It's not that big of a deal. If anything, it just makes the guy look shitty. And the girl's like, into, that's her kissing her boyfriend at the time. And then he was an asshole and dumped her over DM. That doesn't really speak poorly of the girl. This is stupid. No, 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 no. The quarterback's eyes definitely don't go to the scoreboard during the middle of a play. He's got to watch the defenders and the receivers running routes. He's got to throw that ball within three to four seconds. He's not looking at... Oh my god, this movie's pissing me off now. This Friday Night Lights, he's paralyzed now because of this. This is so stupid. What the fuck? What the fuck? No. No. No, no. They're not gonna allow a band girl to run onto the field. Where is the security? Security's like prepared for streakers and stuff. They're not gonna let band girls and cheerleaders run. Sierra, why did you do this to me? Wait, wait, wait. Been catfishing you no, this entire time. No, okay, wait. Wait, you're the medic. The medic's gotta be enthralled. He's like, what did I? I just came on to like heal this student. 
to make sure he didn't have a concussion, and now I'm in the middle of a drama? Just stay the hell away from me. Both of you. Good call, good call. I saw you kiss him. Well, he thinks I'm you! Remember? That was the whole plan! Well, they're just gonna let them continue this conversation on the field? God, just be realistic, movie! Come it's on! The ugly thing about you. Yeah, you got a shitty personality, yeah. As the team rushes back on the field, they're just gonna let this bad girl stay here? I don't even know who you are anymore. Nice. Yeah. It's easy for you to spout your self-esteem BS. But look at me, to be a teenage girl and to look like this. The movie now, at this point, is trying to, in a way, absolve her sins. Like, yeah, well, she did some shitty things, but it's because she's ugly and, like, feel bad for her. <laughs> I'm having a tough time with this movie. It's shot decently well, but the, just the happenings of the movie just don't quite mesh together. The soundtrack's phenomenal on this, though. I love the soundtrack. Forever. The two distinct cells. Well, her friends? Veronica's friends? Don't sit next to her because she got dumped over DM? Now enter telephase. You got- uh, I'm sorry, movie. You gotta create a better problem for the girl. Why would people abandon her when she's the victim of a guy being an asshole? During which this- No. No. I don't buy this. Veronica's done some really shady things. In fact, the dude, the best friend character, he's been recording Veronica bullying people and stuff. Put that on the big screen. Public opinion of Veronica starts to change when she gets put on blast. I can see that. But because she got dumped? Cleaves no! Whoever you wrote those words for, you should tell him. Or her. <laughs> Both being equally valid choices. <laughs> Man, I know your southern ass is homophobic. I'm just kidding. Don't stereotype southern people. I'm sorry. I suck so bad. You don't suck. Mm. Okay, a little bit. A lot of bit. Since you're like the biggest loser in school now or whatever, maybe we can... How is she a loser? I'm never gonna get off this. This is pissing me off. She's the victim! Bodies, I like this indie faces, music. Games oh, play. this is the song! This is the song that Sierra Burgess In made. Air. No way the actor sang this though, right? If she had this much vocal skill, they would have had her singing a lot more in the movie. Some flowers waiting for you. Oh no, maybe she is singing it. Okay, I was thinking, because the only time they, they kind of made a big deal about Maybe she should be a singer or whatever, but the only time she sang was kind of quietly and that was along with the actual track. So I was like, maybe she didn't have great vocal skills, but that needs to be part of her character. So they were going to try to cover it up a little bit, but I think she might actually be kind of talented. Nobody's waiting on me. Oh, he's okay. going to, Jamie's going to take her. Mm. You done, honey? I don't want to see her have a happy oh. ending. I really don't. She doesn't deserve it. Wow. So she screwed him over, and he's gonna come to her window, all romantically. Oh, good. Oh, good? <laughs> Cut the scene there. Yeah, these truncated scenes are interesting. Honestly, had we not met the way that we had, maybe I wouldn't have noticed you. You're not exactly everybody's type. You're my type. You are exactly my type. I mean, you're smart and funny. Have we done that before? Have we go. done that before? Yes. She tricked you into kissing her. Without your consent. Yeah, that did happen. <laughs> okay. See, I could have I could have gotten behind that. That being the ending without her getting the guy. We'll talk about it in a sec. I think we're gonna do credit sequence here, right? Oh, wow. Whoa, whoa. We're going 80s, 90s movie here. Veronica quit cheerleading, taking a break from social media. He got a scholarship to UCLA. UCLA is a good football school. And he got a scholarship to play quarterback at UCLA. He must be pretty fucking good. I got mixed emotions on this one, man. I kind of went hard into the movie for a while, like, like being like, oh, this is unrealistic, this, does, this doesn't work. But I don't think the movie's bad at all. I think the movie's average. It did some things that I thought were really good. The soundtrack was awesome, how they shot it, those truncated scenes. I just love how they cut off before, and you kind of got the hints earlier on in the movie when they didn't show the first conversation between Sierra and Jamie when he texts her for the first time. They kind of gave you the hint that you weren't going to see everything. And I like the fact that some of the scenes are a little bit shorter, like far shorter than what you think they are. They cut off 
like almost like as the drama's ramping up. And it's a really interesting directorial style. And this movie was getting a lot of inspiration from like an 80s, 90s movie, for sure. The way it ended there with like summaries of all the characters, where they are now, where they are today, years later. And you can see it in the wardrobe, you can see it in the vehicles, you can see it in some of the ways that they talked, the schools. Nothing was too modern besides the phones and the scoreboards. <laughs> That scoreboard shit. I still can't buy that. There's no way I'm buying that. Let me break down the sequence of unrealistic events that have had to happen for the scene to work. So first of all, Sierra needs to hack Veronica's Instagram by guessing her password. Unrealistic, but she manages. Then the thing that she posts on Veronica's Instagram has to be so terrible that people start talking about it. She got dumped over DM and everyone hates her. Another unrealistic thing that would never happen. Number three, the guy would have to convince the guy who's running the scoreboard that people are smoking pot and he has to hack into the school's administration thing and know how to work the scoreboard. Number four, the quarterback has to see the scoreboard mid-play, then get sacked. And he would never look up at the scoreboard during the middle of a play. Number five, security would have to not stop people from running onto the fields during the middle of a game, during injury timeouts. It's just one unrealistic thing happens after another and I can buy maybe one. You can convince me like, oh, what's like a fluke, one thing randomly happened. But five unlikely things happened in succession. And I just, I can't, I can't get into that. I do like the ending though. I like how Sierra's friends with Veronica and she made up with her best friend. I don't know that I buy the, okay, so this dude's like the coolest guy ever. He's attractive. He's charming. I'm talking about Noah Satino's character, the quarterback. So he's attractive, charming, he's very insightful and very smart, and oh yeah, he might be the best quarterback in the state. He got a scholarship to a great football school. The last quarterback of UCLA was drafted in the first round of the NFL drafts. He would be by far the most popular guy in the state, and he's gonna date the biggest loser at the school. Do I buy that? No, especially after she tricked him for weeks into thinking that he was dating another girl. She schemed up this whole big thing, and not only does he forgive her, but he ends up dating her. <sighs> Let me know what you guys are thinking in the comment section down below. I just wanna reiterate, I don't think this is a bad movie. I railed on it a lot, I will admit that. But that's just because I feel like it was good. Like, I got past the catfishing stuff, and I was like, ah, that's uncomfortable, but I like where the plot's going. The acting was really good on most of the characters, specifically the best friend. I think Veronica did a good job, and then Noah Cetinho, whatever. <laughs> I need to learn how to pronounce his name. I think those three especially did a great job. But then the plot in the last half an hour kind of got too unrealistic for me, but I want to know what you guys are thinking in the comment section down below, so let me know. Speaking of Noah Cetinho, should we look it up? Let's look it up. What's up? I'm Noah Centineo and you're watching- Centineo! Alright, alright, got it. If you want to watch another one of my commentary videos that Noah Centineo was in, well, go watch this. And on the bottom there is going to be the Love Island series. The video there is like the middle of the series, but you don't need to watch from the beginning if you don't want to. You'll be able to pick it up pretty fast. And I think that's one of my funnier videos that I've ever posted. So yeah, check that one out. I'll be back next week with another movie commentary Monday. You know I love you guys. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day.